Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss one scenario based network engineer interview question. Recently, one of my student received this question in interview. Interviewer asked this question to him and he shared the question with me. Then I thought to make one video on it because question is interesting. But before talking about the question, let's understand the scenario. So guys, this is the scenario. You can see scenario is in front of you. There are many devices in this scenario like there is one ISP, router, switch, one server is there and some laptops are there, right? Client devices are there. And the question is based on this switch. Interviewer were checking the switching knowledge of my student, right? And question is, see, there is some output of switch port. Switch port means the port of switch. Like this is the layer 2 switch, right? So guys, switch port means the port which forward traffic on the basis of layer 2 information with the basis of MAC address is known as layer 2 port, right? So you can see switch port is enabled over here. They have given this output, right? Interviewer have draw this diagram and they have given this output like the switch port is enabled and then administrative mode is dynamic auto that means DTP is configured here right on the port for the trunking DTP is running and mode is dynamic auto which is the default one but the operational mode is down so he asked operational mode of a switch port is down what can be the reason so first of all if you know the reason then just pause the video and let me know your answer in the comment section, right? If you have any question, don't hesitate. Please share your answer in the comment section. It will be helpful for others. Done? Now, in case if you don't know the answer, what can be the reason of this? Like why operational mode is down? And guys, first of all, this is not the issue. If you are thinking that this is the issue in the network and we need to troubleshoot. So I must tell you, this is not the issue. This is the output, right? Soon I'm going to tell you. So hope the question is clear. Question is, this is the output. Mm -hmm. On the interface, I have run command. So interface, then interface type, then interface ID. And in the output, I am able to see switch port is enabled. Administrative mode is dynamic auto. And the operational mode is down. What can be the reason? Like why operational mode is down? And how operational mode can, can be down? Now guys, See, I have access of this switch also. I have designed same topology in my EVNG, right? And then I have configured the scenario, same scenario, right? Then here I can run command so interface, then interface type, which is the ethernet, then interface ID, which is 0 slash 2. And after that, I want to check layer 2 information. So I will say switch port. See the output. In the output, first one is name. This is nothing but the name of your switch port then guys switch port is enabled that means layer 2 forwarding is enabled means uh, this port will forward traffic on the basis of layer 2 address means MAC address administrative mode is dynamic auto and the operational mode is down so output is exactly same like the question of interviewer right now I will tell you why this operational mode is down now guys before talking about again the solution let me tell you about the span. If you have idea about the span, like span means switch port analyzer. It is a security feature on switch. With the help of span, we can monitor the port, switch port, right? We can analyze the switch port for troubleshooting, right? For the performance optimization or for the security. We are using this security feature in the real time network for monitoring, for analyzing the switch port. So guys, you know, whenever you will configure a span on switch, so at that time you are going to define the source port and destination port, right? Source port is the port which you want to monitor, analyze. So let's suppose in this scenario, I want to analyze these two port, right? Like which type of traffic switch is receiving on these two port and which type of traffic switch is transmitting on these two port. If I'm analyzing these two port, then logically we are actually analyzing these two client 
devices i want to let's say know the client devices are which sending which types of traffic is there any uh, like uh, you can say uh, what we can say malicious traffic let's say malicious activity like is there any unauthorized user on this two port so we can monitor it for that we can configure these two port as source port and this port as destination port because here we have the server now on this server i can install any capturing tool like wires wires are and we can see all the data on this two port so whenever we are configuring a port as destination port in the span then what is happening is first of all all the protocol will disabled like this port will not participate in any layer 2 protocol you know by default multiple proto layer 2 protocols are enabled on switch port like cdp cdp like your dtp like your vtp like your stp right these protocols are by default enabled on all switch ports i'm talking about the cisco devices i don't have idea about non cisco devices right but once you will configure this port as a destination port e0/0 as a destination port what will happen it will disable all the protocols right and from this port switch can not forward user traffic now this port is only for monitoring right this port is only for monitoring it will only receive captured traffic on this port right it will actually out it will only forward captured packet captured traffic of these two port from this port right it will only out here on this port switch will not allow any traffic to ingress it will not allow any ingress traffic right it will not receive any traffic on this port it will only not transmit the traffic so that's why we are saying the destination port in s span cannot be used for the user data like we cannot connect the user now to this port so actually what switch is doing switch is disabling the you know like you can say tx line like in a port or in a cable we have two types of line one is tx line one is rx line rx line is used to receive the traffic and tx line is used to transmit the traffic so no not tx it will disable the rx right means it will not receive any traffic on this particular port it can only transmit the traffic from this particular port now because this port is configured as destination port right so in that scenario whenever you will configure a port as destination port in span you will see the operational mode of dtp is down right so maybe here we are running what span so you can see your answer can be what possible answer can be uh, maybe this port is configured as maybe this port is con configured as the destination port in span or you can say the line protocol like whenever your line protocol will be down in that scenario you will see operational mode is down right so actually once we will configure a port as a destination port in span switch will down the line protocol of that port to verify it here i can show you even like you i can show you the uh, this port is not participating in any layer 2 protocol in the cdp how we can check so cdp neighbor not so cdp neighbor so cdp interface we can say you can see the output on e0/0 guys A status is up and their line protocol is also up the encapsulation protocol is arpa it is sending cdp packet after every 60 second and the hold on time is 180 second this is the output we have same output on ethernet 0/1 also but the output is bit different on e0/2 which is my destination port see the line protocol of this port is down right so status is still up but the line protocol is down so as line protocol of this interface is down operational mode of dtp is down right to check like stp protocol let's say stp protocol is running on this port or not what i can do i can say so a spanning tree and you can see in the spanning tree also you are not able to see this port 0/2 port 
zero slash two port is not visible over here, right? Even you can check the VLAN database. That means STP is not running on zero slash two port. You can check so VLAN brief. So VLAN brief. In the VLAN also you can see I am not able to see zero slash two port. Zero slash two port is not there. Getting my point. And guys, as you know, whenever we are troubleshooting layer two port, means switch port, the most important troubleshooting command is show interface status. We should always check show interface status. So you can your answer possible answer can be this also. Like I will check interface status because in interface status you can find it that this port is for monitoring, right? We are using this port as a monitoring for monitoring purpose, right? So show interface status. Yes, see the output. 0 slash 0 is connected, 0 slash 1 connected, but 0 slash 2 is monitoring. This port is for monitoring purpose. So from now, from today, keep this thing in mind. Whenever interviewer or anyone is asking you the question related to switch port, right? And if you don't know the answer, then also you can say, I will check the interface status. I will run command show interface status because guys with the help of this command we can check the port is in error disable or not port is in monitoring state or not right this is very important command very important troubleshooting command to troubleshoot layer 2 port every time I am using in the production network so this can be the possible answer that I will check interface status first I will check the interface status right after that also you have seen that okay this port is for the monitoring now you know monitoring means we are using the span so you can check span so we can say monitor session and if you don't know the session number then say all and here also you can see that right, session number is 10 and the source port these two ports are configured as source 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 but 0 slash 2 is configured as destination port right so as this port is configured as destination port it will down the line protocol right switch so will down the line protocol of this interface because switch is not going to receive any data on this port now this port is for monitoring it will only transmit the captured traffic captured traffic means monitoring traffic traffic of source ports right let's say whatever ports are configured as source port right so whatever traffic switch will switch will receive on the source port or switch will transmit on the source port it will send one copy of that traffic on the destination port on this port so this port is for monitoring and we can note use this port for user data forwarding now right so guys like this you can answer to the interviewer right if interviewer is asking you this type of question this is scenario based question interviewer can draw the scenario in front of you and after that they can ask you any question right so for layer 2 troubleshooting you will always check show interface status in a status you can find the error disable you can see the monitoring you can see the connected you can see the you know non connected down everything according to that we can decide what can be the reason of the result right and guys rest all thing here you can see so interface e0 slash 2 and switch port rest all thing looks like same operational mode is done encapsulation is same right the native I'm sorry VLAN is one this port is part of VLAN 1 member of VLAN 1 native VLAN administrative tagging right none for voice VLAN rest all are exactly same right but the layer 2 protocols are disabled over here now fine so even you can run this command so interface e0 slash 2 and then we can say include packets so you can see you are able to see some odd packet from this port right like means which have transmitted lots of packet from this port but you can see the receive packet input packet is zero right input packet will be a bit zero on this port 
and what it's saying zero input packets with drival condition detected right so guys line protocol of this port so it be interface brief here also you can see the line protocol of this interface is down right even your server is up and they can ask you this calls question also like why the line protocol of this interface is down the this port is connected with the server and server is on i have ensured the cable cable is also fine but the line protocol is showing down what can be the reason getting my point okay so this was a small interview question guys scenario based interview question if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you are new on the channel if you have not subscribed this channel till now please subscribe this channel and if you have any query question concern please let me know in the comment section if these types of videos are helpful for you if you want more videos like this scenario based question please type yes in the comment section your yes will motivate me to make more videos like this and i will get to know once you will type yes in the ch chat i will get to know that these these videos are helpful for you you guys are learning from these types of video right i will try to make more be videos as much as possible thank you thanks for watching we'll meet soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye guys